NSWEX Review. Here are five hardest NSWEX next generation questions and answers 2024 with rationale. Let's see how many you can score. Let's start. Question 1. A 75-year-old male patient with a history of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, is admitted to the hospital with an exacerbation. He is on 2L slash mine of oxygen via nasal cannula and reports increased shortness of breath. Which of the following assessments is most important for the nurse to perform first? Is it A. Measure the patient's oxygen saturation. B. Auscultate the patient's lung sounds. C. Assess the patient's respiratory rate and effort. Or D. Check the patient's arterial blood gas results. Answer. The correct answer is C. Assess the patient's respiratory rate and effort. Rationale. An INR of 4.5 indicates a high bleeding risk. Holding warfarin and informing the provider prevents complications. Question 2. A patient with atrial fibrillation is receiving warfarin, Coumadin, for anticoagulation. The patient's INR is 4.5. The nurse should A. Administer the next scheduled dose of warfarin. B. Hold the next dose of warfarin and notify the healthcare provider. C. Administer vitamin K and notify the healthcare provider. Or D. Instruct the patient to increase intake of green leafy vegetables. Answer. The correct answer is B. Hold the next dose of warfarin and notify the healthcare provider. Rationale. An INR of 4.5 indicates a high bleeding risk. Holding warfarin and informing the provider prevents complications. Question 3. A nurse is preparing to administer a morning dose of insulin glargine, Lantus, to a patient with type 1 diabetes. The patient also has an order for 8 units of insulin Lispro, Humalog, with meals. What action should the nurse take? Is it A. Mix the insulin glargine with insulin Lispro in the same syringe. B. Administer the insulin glargine subcutaneously in one injection and the insulin Lispro subcutaneously in another site. C. Administer the insulin Lispro intravenously. Or D. Administer the insulin glargine intravenously. Answer. The correct answer is B. Administer the insulin glargine subcutaneously in one injection and the insulin Lispro subcutaneously in another site. Rationale. Insulin glargine and Lispro should not be mixed and must be injected separately to maintain their efficacy. Question 4. Which of the following tasks can the nurse delegate to an experienced unlicensed assistive personnel, UAP? Is it A. Administering oral medications to a stable patient. B. Assessing a patient's pain level. C. Assisting a patient with ambulation post-surgery. Or D. Teaching a patient how to use an incentive spirometer. Answer. The correct answer is C. Assisting a patient with ambulation post-surgery. Rationale. Ambulation assistance is within the UAP's scope, promoting mobility and recovery under nurse supervision. Question 5. A nurse is caring for a patient with tuberculosis, TB. Which of the following infection control measures should the nurse implement? Is it A. Place the patient in a private room with negative air pressure. B. Wear a surgical mask when entering the patient's room. C. Use contact precautions when caring for the patient. Or D. Place the patient in a room with other patients who have TB. Answer. The correct answer is A. Place the patient in a private room with negative air pressure. Rationale. Negative air pressure rooms prevent airborne TB transmission, protecting others in the hospital environment. On a scale of one to five, how many did you score? Feel free to drop a comment sharing your correct answers. Hope you've gained some valuable insights. Until the next video, take care and goodbye.